breath. I'm rubbing my magic lamp, and I'm gonna make a wish. <gasps> what in the world? Not cool, bro. Not cool, bro. Who touched my lamp? Everybody want that switch, boy. Your cousin want a switch. Your uncle want a switch. Every, 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 everybody want a switch. Now, many third-party developers are still taking a wait and see approach. We want to see how the system does, and then we might support it. But things are looking very convincing with the sales of the system. And so, for this video, I want to share with you, dudes, games that can very likely be on the system for this upcoming year and so I got my magic lamp let's make a wish this isn't from any insider source these are just games that would make perfect sense to be on the system and so here we go bro the first game Marvel vs Capcom Infinite Did you see the last trailer of this game? Straight hype. Hype, hype, hype. This is why I think this game could come to the Switch and should come to the Switch. First, we had Injustice Gods Among Us on the Wii U and the game looked good on the Wii U. The Wii U. I know it's a different developer. Warner Brothers made that game. Capcom is making this game, but on that Wii, we had Capcom versus Tatsunoko. Tanuki? Tatsunoko? Tataniki? You know what I'm talking about. We also had Street Fighter 4 on the 3DS. And so Capcom has a history of putting their fighters on Nintendo platforms. Make it happen. The next game that could very likely make an appearance on that Switter, 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 Switter Switch is COD. COD. That call? call of Duty World War II. Why you ask? On the Wii U, we had Black Ops 2. On the Wii U, we even had Ghosts. Ghosts. I told you before, I ain't scared of no ghosts, bro. Now, I already see you dudes typing in the chat. Obi-Wan, they already had the reveal trailer and they didn't say anything about the Nintendo Switch version. I know that dude, but when they announced Black Ops 2, the Wii U version was announced at a later date at a Nintendo press event. Who knows, at E3, we could get some card. Cook that card. The next game that could very likely be announced on the Switch the next installment in the Assassin's Creed series. First, Ubisoft and Nintendo, they have a great relationship. That Rabbids and Mario game is gonna be straight hard. Second, the Wii U had that Assassin's Creed 3 and 4 sailing the high seas with the pirates. Next, really isn't one game, but a genre of games, sports. Sports. We need sports. On the Wii U, we had sports games for one year. No more games. Speaking of sports, I really don't want what the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One is offering with a simulation type experience. Don't get me wrong, I still take that, but I want some fun arcade games. We already getting that NBA play. Dudes, I am so hyped for NBA Playgrounds coming out May 9th. The gameplay looks cool on the Switch. I already told you dudes, 
I'm dunking on everybody watching this video. I'm talking to you right there. I know you're watching this video. You're going to get dunked on, boy. And so, I'll even take on the football field, not your standard Madden game. Give us some Madden Arcade, five on five, in the veins of NFL Blitz. Give us some Tecmo Bowls. Ooh, a new Tecmo Bowl game on the Switch with HD graphics. Sign me up. Sign me up. Give me a pen. And so, those are some of the titles and games that could very likely be coming to a Nintendo Switch near you. Dudes with third party games plus key first party games plus a little bit of indie games will make the Nintendo Switch the ultimate gaming console. Play it at home, on the go. What are your thoughts on the games that I mentioned? Do you think they'll be coming on that Switch? They all make perfect sense. It make perfect sense. Capcom, EA, Ubisoft, Activision, make it happen. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. Oh, thanks, man. Ten, go. Try it one more time. That's it. I quit. Can't have anything around here, man. Nothing's working right.